Hey, 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 everyone, Rosbowski here, and welcome back to some more Until Dawn. That was not fair. That was not fucking. I shot him! I fucking shot him! I fucking shot him for kids' sake! I fucking pressed the fucking button! Guys, come Complete booty! Press! Oh! No! That is complete Bad. booty! I Bad. saved him! Oh my... Oh my god... Oh, oh. Fucking just saved him, game! Are you okay? No! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get down to the basement. I saved him! Hey, stay with me. I fucking pressed the Stay button! The I pressed the fucking button! <sighs> Fuck off, Smeagol! Fucking dick! Why is he still alive? I fucking saved him! I, I, I fucking saved him! What's wrong? It's. It's not good up there. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean? Mike, where is Chris? <laughs> oh no. Oh god, Ash. He didn't. He was out there. I'm I'm so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's gotta be dead too. Oh Christ. Alright. These all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? So Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until Fuck dawn. My ass. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. We gotta look for this fucking Great. body. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and that thing's huh. Hannah. That thing's yeah. definitely Hannah. What? Fuck it. Has to be. She ate her I'm sister, gonna get that became a Right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Definitely. That's what happened. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. That's because the others ate them. There was them. this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird <laughs> how much stuff. crazy shit's gone on up Still here. fucking hair. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? What is what? Ash. What is um, what? Oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing. Oh no, it just it, oh no, it bit no. me it and bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. What? M, if that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. What the fuck? Emily, if the Wendigo bit you you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes, 
it happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You can't be down here with us. What? What? Mike? You can't kick go. her out, Mike. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Oh, like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. What? I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! There's so much compassion there, Ashley. Oh, well, okay. fucking well, ass. Well, well, Mike, calm down. You're- Mike? You're gonna shoot me? Mike. Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Oh, fuck. You can't don't, kill him. Don't do this! I'm really sorry. No, no, I'm not shooting her. Fuck that. I'm not blasting a hole in her head. Fuck that. No. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the good fortune thing. That was the fortune thing. The right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. I'm not shooting now. her. Fuck that. We lost Chris. We're not losing somebody else. Fuck, fuck. Fucking ass. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah, give yeah. her a fucking chance at least. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Mike, I really don't want you to die, because I'm really liking you, man. I'm really liking you, man. What the fuck is going on? The fuck is going on? Yeah, Ashley, keep your beady fucking eyes on her. By the way, Sam is very, very close to getting camel toe in those trousers. Is that what she's looking at? Her camel toe? I thought that, that he was going to help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Well, he was helping us. Now we don't have a chance. So he got his fucking head no, ripped guys, off. it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. What's this? I don't know if I Plain can. Plain as Ashley now. Getting close to dawn, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Buckle in for story time, children. This guy's a little OCD. Aww, I didn't get the time to read it. Okay, here we go. Only a few, <laughs> only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am uh, the only man who has ever kept them under control. Need these words, heed these words, or shall be your death, and your death shall not be the last. And your death shall not be the last. What does the bottom of the page say? To be continued. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, or uh, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess them. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh something from the uh, raw from the corpses i have seen this happen many years ago a craving for flesh that cannot be sated and then the change begins the eyes turn first and become milky and white that will probably come in handy later on then the teeth become longer like fangs the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut, uh, taut across the bones okay this is very very very, very creepy. But this is what Hannah did. Hannah so ate Beth. She so ate Beth. Okay, 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 okay. There was a tribe that lived in the mountains. The Cree. There are shamans. There's a lot of history to this. No shit, Sherlock. Let me read it. Uh, the, 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 tell the story. The shamans uh, tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain. And all the animals which lived on the mountain. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Okay, that is why we don't disturb the animals. Fantastic. In 1983, the miners arrived. They found uh, tin and later traces of radium. Okay. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. A minor disaster death toll rises. Remember, somebody was eaten. One of the bodies, wasn't it, that we found in the morgue. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What? 
will mimic their their voices and movement. The Whittacle sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stamped. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, although a shotgun will keep them at bay. Well, it didn't fucking work earlier on, did it? <sighs> because the Wendigo is mutated from a human and knows how to hunt us, it can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos, and knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak, but try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to capture them and fire to drive them into the cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infect infested the mountain. Okay. Are you going to um, make a comment, love, before I start reading? Okay. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts in the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs, and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Okay, so we need to be outside. Hunger cravings. Who? Found nearby. Stripped bear. Skull and ribcage found in mines. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grow from the bite of another Wendigo. Oh, shit. The bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. What? Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay, so she is fine. Thank fuck we didn't kill her then. She's completely Aww. fine. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? It's completely fine. It's completely fine, love. Conceal just crazy stuff in here. Reassure. No, reassure Emily you'll be okay. Yeah, reassure her. It says that... Fucking reassure her. We don't want her to die. Come on. The bites... It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. There we go. We didn't blow our brain off. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? It says she'll be okay, love. Can you all hear us? Fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch oh, almost come let on. him. Were you That's just fucking... Fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, Please, Emily. Emily. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> right, now we've got I'm that sorry. over and done with. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Can we just please not? Shit. What? Shit, shit, shit. What? We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Why? What? what? Hey, you want to explain it, please, Sammy? You please want to explain that? Why did you just flee? Oh, that's the end of the chapter, isn't it? It is! Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Oh, man. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. Oh, come death, on. He didn't mean people to die. Or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. He didn't mean people. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? Oh, that's not his fault. You did nothing to help. That's not his Paralyzed fault. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Oh dear. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Yeah, I've got stiff nipples. It's very cold. Why did you 
you hurt them? You're who? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Because it was fun. Funsies, they tried to hurt one. I didn't hurt anyone. Oh no, we did hurt one. They hurt me. Yeah, they hurt me. It has to be. I didn't hurt anyone's alive. They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Yeah, that was uncool, Josh, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, let's let's he's let's sorry. That it's not too late for atonement. How can we fix this? And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Oh yeah, he's fucked now, he's he? been dragged off. Just don't eat any flesh, Josh. Just don't eat any flesh. Well, there we go, we're gonna end off another episode there, guys. Fuck! Oh, I'm so gutted about some of the events that have been happening so far. Oh, it's such a good game! Oh, it's frustrating at the same time, though. I love this story. Like, I just can't stop playing and playing it all in like, one, <laughs> one sitting. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And I'll see you soon for the next episode. We're getting towards the end. I know it. I just fucking know it. Either way, guys, I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards, as always, for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!